Welcome to our Quick Map 3D on Android crash mapping training video using the TruePulse 200X laser and True Angle system. Five zero, let's go. With the laser connected to your device, launch the Quick Map 3D app and select New Survey. After entering a file name, choose the TruePulse 200X with True Angle option as your device and then choose radial with angle as your mapping method. Set your units of measure, instrument height, and target height. If only a two-dimensional map is needed, uncheck the 3D box. Tap Next to continue. On the Set Origin screen, if you know coordinates and a reference azimuth for the point, enter them here. Otherwise, accept the defaults. You will need to index the true angle by rotating it 360 degrees until the IND on the display becomes flashing zeros. Aim at a reference point, fire the true pulse, and the zeros on the true angle will stop flashing. From the live map screen, tap the connection icon and wait for it to go green. You are now ready to start mapping. To collect point feature data, such as evidence on the ground, make sure that the point icon is selected. Aim and shoot to the first point of evidence and listen for the audio confirmation that data has come through. Enter a note or code for this point and make sure your instrument and target height values are good. Tap Submit. The new point will now be displayed on the map. Make sure it's in the correct place before proceeding. To store a photo of that mapped point, tap the camera icon. Take a picture of the evidence and tap the check mark to save it. To map in a line feature such as a curb, select that icon and shoot in your first point. Name the line feature and add an additional note for this point. Tap Submit. Tap the auto check mark and continue shooting in points on the line. If a point is missed and needs to be inserted, uncheck auto, shoot it in, and select where to place it. To map a vehicle, select the car icon and measure to the first corner. Name the vehicle and choose which corner has been measured. Tap Submit. Continue to collect all the necessary corners of the vehicle. If the points are not directly visible, aim to a target pole and be sure to enter the target height. If important pieces of evidence are out of sight from this position, shoot in a point that you can see them from or identify one already mapped. Tap the Move icon, enter the point number to occupy, and tap Next. A reminder will display to zero back on this point. Move the equipment to the new location and enter the new instrument height. Reference or zero the true angle on the previously occupied point. Begin mapping in the same manner by choosing the point type taking the shot, and entering a note. Before finishing the survey, make sure all the important evidence has been mapped. If errors are detected at any time, use the Delete and Reshoot buttons on the main screen, or the editing capabilities within the Point Detail routine. Generate output files and reports by tapping the Save icon found at the top of the Live Map screen. Select the types of files needed and tap the Save icon. If you have a broadband connection on the device, tap the Save and Send icon to automatically email the report files to a designated address. Back at the office, these output files can be imported directly into your desktop diagramming software. 
Clear the scene quicker and safer with LTI's Quick Map 3D system.